Hello friends and fiends, welcome to Art with Sprinkles, I'm Mariah. If you've already seen the thumbnail for this video, you may already know what we're doing today, but if you don't, I don't know how you got here, let me fill you in. Today I'm going to be undertaking the biggest project I've ever attempted, and that is to paint the six foot by two and a half foot plastic fold-in table that I use as an art table. I'm not exactly sure if this is a great idea or a terrible idea, but I've been really struggling trying to use poster board as my backdrops, and it really feels wasteful to use a fresh new piece of poster board every video just to get paint on it. Since I'm pretty sure you can't recycle paper that's covered in paint, I just want to try to be a good human and avoid using wasteful products if I can help it. This table is a few years old now and has been through six moves, several family camping trips, and is a little beat up. Aside from how it looks, it's actually in really good condition. First thing to do was give it a good spritz of bleach and try to rub out some of the dirt and grime that's built up over the years. I do clean my table rather regularly, but somehow it never manages to come completely clean. This time was no different even after I sanded it down, but that's okay since I'm just going to be painting over it anyways. It just makes me feel better knowing that there's a slightly thinner layer of filth under the paint than there could have been. It's really going to help me sleep at night. Once everything's all cleaned up, it's time to cover the table in a thick layer of Mod Podge. Paint doesn't stick particularly particularly well to plastic, and I heard somewhere in the void that you could make it stick better if you did this first. Is it actually helpful? Who knows, but we're doing it. Since I'm going to be working on top of this, I'll do just about anything to make it stick. Also, you may be wondering why it is that I've chosen to show myself doing these processes to only one side of the table, and that's because when I started this, that's all I planned on doing. Then my best friend Dixie came over seeing it as a fully half-painted table and convinced me to paint both sides. I realized she was right. Well, 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 why on earth would you paint only one half of a table? It's obvious that no one would ever do that, and I almost felt dumb for not thinking of it. So, big thank you to my friend Dixie, whose brilliance helped me make this a better project. As you can see now, I'm covering the table in black paint, which I poured directly from the bottle. It took two and a half bottles of two ounce acrylic black paint to cover the whole table, which is quite frankly a lot of paint for someone like me, but I think it was worth it. Plus, playing in the shiny black paint was really satisfying. I do have to admit that this is the point in the project where I started to get a little worried. I had reached the point of no return. If it doesn't turn out well, I'm stuck with it. It's not like I'm going to go out and get another table. This will continue to be my table for better or for worse, so it was really important that I do a good job. I mean, I'm gonna have to look at this every day. It takes up a big section of my room. Problem is, I have very little painting experience, and even less so in this more landscapey style that I was going for. There is no cell shading or flat bold colors here, which is how I like to draw so I was really stepping out of my comfort zone. Still, I was passionate about the idea of having a permanent, unique-to-me backdrop for my videos that I persevered. I wanted to paint a galaxy because it goes well with some of the decor in my art room, but it just sort of ends up looking more like a starry, cloudy night than actual space. Even though I'm not the best painter, I'm really glad that I tried this. It was a lot of fun to try a new style of art even amidst all the panic. That's our word of the day. Amidst. Here's me, here's the panic. Get it? Okay, and we're back to painting. Still working on the finishing touches of the first half of the table. I say that with quotes because I think the side of the table is done several times and then I just keep doing more stuff to it. The dots look nice though. I'd say all together on this table, by the time it's done, there's at least 500 dots. And that's probably a gross underestimation. See, here I am doing those touch-ups again. Never mind that I'm painting over all those dots I just put down. Guess I'll just have to add more dots now. Better bring that project dot estimate up to 600, just to be safe. The true nightmare began two days and a set of acrylic nails later when I sat down to paint the other half of the table. Now remember, I had never meant to do both sides. It was an afterthought. So when the time came to paint the other half of the table, I had a fair bit of trouble trying to match the sides perfectly to each other. Though I was really trying to make them consistent, the second half of the table looks a lot brighter and clearer than the first side of the table. To make myself feel better about it, I'm just going to pretend it's because this side has a moon. It's supposed to be clearer and brighter. Duh. Let's just add a few hundred more dots here, and we should be good on painting. At least for the parts I filmed. This project took two and a half days of painting, touch-ups, drying, and mod podge. I didn't film it all because I don't have space on my computer for 20 hours of video. Speaking of mod podge, let me just dump some more of that on here. 
just enough to completely mask the table's true identity. Using Mod Podge like this looks pretty scary. It goes on super thick and white. You might worry that I'll never see my table again, but fear not, friends and fiends. No matter how much Mod Podge you use, it will eventually dry clear. Once it's dry, it'll cover your artwork with a nice safe layer of protection from the outside world. Now to just sneak in the last few touch-ups. Some more Mod Podge off camera, and it's finally finished. Overall, I'm pretty thrilled with how this turned out. Is it perfect? No. But neither am I, and I'm still allowed in the house, so it can stay too. Is it weird that I now view this art table as my little, okay, well not so little, art buddy? He, I mean it, is gonna be in all my videos with me. I did hear that artists can get strangely attached to their art. Anyways, if you stuck around this long, thank you. You're my new favorite. Leave me a comment down below so I know who you are, and follow the channel for more artsy videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!